Hi, my name is Nicole Shen. I'm a first year gastroenterology fellow at New York Presbyterian Hospital, Weill Cornell. Today, I'm going to talk to you about our manuscript entitled, Timely Use of Probiotics in Hospitalized Adults Can Prevent Clostridium Difficile Infection, a systematic review with meta-regression analysis. Prior systematic reviews with meta-analyses suggest probiotic efficacy at preventing Clostridium Difficile Infection in adults and children in the inpatient and outpatient setting receiving antibiotics. And in 2015, a modified Delphi panel unanimously recommended using lactobacillus acidophilus and lactobacillus cassii concurrently with antibiotics to prevent Clostridium difficile infection. Yet, the current guidelines put forth by the American College of Gastroenterology and the Society for Healthcare Epidemiology of America do not recommend probiotic use for prevention of Clostridium difficile infection. Given the conflicting recommendations and evidence, we conducted a systematic review to incorporate new evidence to help guide clinical practice. We focused our analysis on the high-risk population of hospitalized adults receiving antibiotics. Adhering to the PRISMA guidelines, we found 19 randomized controlled trials with over 6,000 patients that met our inclusion criteria. The incidence of Clostridium difficile infection in the probiotic cohort was 1.6%. This was significantly less than that observed in the control cohort of 3.9%. The combined relative risk was 0.42 with an upper confidence interval of 0.57. In subgroup analysis, we investigated for the first time the effect of early probiotic administration. Meta-regression demonstrated that probiotics given closer to the first antibiotic dose were significantly more effective than those administered later, with a decrement in efficacy observed for every day in delay. Subgroup meta-analysis showed that probiotics given within two days were significantly more effective than those given later. Other subgroup analyses did not reach statistical significance. There was no increased risk of adverse events in the probiotic cohort. And using the GRADE criteria, the overall quality of the evidence was high. It's important to remember that these randomized controlled trials excluded patients that were pregnant, had prosthetic heart valves, were immunocompromised, or required intensive care. In conclusion, we found that timely use of probiotics could reduce the risk of Clostridium difficile by over 50% in hospitalized adults receiving antibiotics, and clinicians should strongly consider incorporating this practice of using probiotics with their adult patients receiving antibiotics in the hospital setting.